What's up, my degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut. We got one of the highest requested guests in the Sick. building, my fucking best friend, my fucking brother, JR. We have Brooke Schofield Wee. in the building. <laughs> Welcome. We got Bryce Hall in the building. Yes, I am here. We have, I think, our first repeat guest ever. No way. Fibula. No way. Yeah, wow. you, you came on with Kat, like, back in my college that days. That was a long time ago, yeah. Do you guys, like adapt at all to like who you're with like do you change yourself at all because i do mm. i i don't oh okay never mind neither do i no but no but this is interesting this is yes because i feel like guys do this to me like yeah. what do you so what, what do you do i like not not so much to where it's like i'm not me but like all of a sudden i'll be interested in things that i didn't think i was interested i understand in. that because if you really like someone and then like what they're interested in, you want to also like share it with them. Yeah. Which kind of makes it's, sense. But it's like as much as I like want to f- like, uh, for example, my last relationship, which was an unmutual relationship. It was a relationship mm-hmm. I was Just in you. and the yeah. other person wasn't. <laughs> I was a Formula One fanatic. Okay? Shut up. <laughs> and it's like, look at like, I don't give a fuck about Formula One, but I was watching it and I'm like, Lewis Hamilton is the like greatest person alive. And you're I, like I studying. Just, literally. <laughs> Actually, I get that. I started gambling. Yeah, <laughs> so that I didn't even think it was cool. But it's, yeah. it's like it's subconscious. It's not like I'm like, oh my god, I have to completely change my personality. But I'm like, it's, it's it naturally happens to me. And like right now, I'm Australian, so like yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. Worst hook up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, r- random one night stand that I had. Okay, best hook up. Ah, uh, fuck! Wow. Come on. <laughs> Wait a second, uh, uh, fucking this one Argentinian girl that I hooked up with. Okay, cool yeah. TikToker. Um. Uh, Jack Joseph. Rudest TikToker. Uh, Taylor Holder. Best ass. Um, the Argentina girl that I hooked up with. <laughs> Funniest TikToker. Uh, me. Um, smelliest TikToker. Uh, Taylor Holder. Most recent hookup. Uh, the Argentina girl. <laughs> <laughs> and right on time. I, I come back in at 3 a.m. and I'm in Marina del Rey, which is the city past Venice. Okay. So I'm going away from my home at 3 a.m. <laughs> Bars in LA close it too. Yeah. Will so you there's tell us whose house it was? No, oh. but I have Snapchat saved <laughs> and uh, it's like bits and pieces here. But I do remember being escorted out of this person's home no. yes. with my other buddy. It was just me and one other. At least it was one yeah. other buddy that came. At least like I'm not like, wait, why, where am I and why am I being kicked out? <laughs> I think it was just like time for the night to be over. Yeah. And I was doing a full bit about oh, how no, no. <laughs> this man whose house it was was speaking on a monkeypox convention next week and he really should be getting his rest and that he was on panel C of the monkey box convention <laughs> and he really didn't like that. Like I he, love he that did, bit. Like I, think I, was, I think I actually got <laughs> to him. like to him? I think I actually got to a point where he, he was kind of like, wait, did I not put this on my G-Cal? Like, <laughs> do I, did I miss this convention that I'm sitting on? And I... The last thing I remember is him being like, "You get, like, I'm sorry, you guys just really have to be going now. You have to leave. You have to <laughs> and then so like, the last thing I were like out in the courtyard of this apartment building. And I was like, oh, whoa, wait. He was for real. Like, we for real just got escorted out. <laughs> and then the only thing that's online right now of me from this weekend is me doing that double cup <laughs> like that oh, I, I, did, yeah. I did catch that <laughs> yeah. oh and like no life behind my eyes 3 45 in the morning i almost get hit by these two dudes on bird scooters like and then oh, it might have been us. There's, a, been us. <laughs> there's a second clip that my buddy didn't post of me i guess i asked them to re-back up and then roll into the video once i start strangers oh, you were a director no, no. you're just a director and they did and they came they and, they, and then they like threw the scooters down and g- did it the thing with me which i've never done that dance were you did you think you were like a rock star like did your personality change were you kind of like up your own ass a little bit thinking you were the shit i mean i think definitely there was part of that right like we were yeah. all super young like we were all in between the ages of 15 and 17 mm-hmm. and we would have like a thousand to two thousand girls coming to this uh meet and greet like cheering our names and being like yeah. you're so fucking hot <laughs> right so it's just yeah. kind of, it, it's like it definitely feeds the ego were you a guys bit. like fucking on this tour yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. You yeah. guys were fucking? Yeah. Wait, how yeah. old were you? Awesome. I was 17. Okay, that's not that bad. Yeah, I thought no, you were like 14 no, no. just out no, here no, fucking. No, 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 no. But okay. yeah, no. Yeah, we were. Okay, so you guys were fucking. Wait, so like kids would have to like sneak out of their parents' houses to come fuck? Um, I that's mean. That's how I'm picturing it. It was, it was usually like we'd be on the tour and there would either be like girls' older sisters that are there, oh. right? So it's like going and like flirting with them or we would always be in hotels. So it's like going down to the lobbies and just like oh. finding them random. Girls. <laughs> they're yeah. just waiting That's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. you just have all these girls like all over do you think that kind of fucked you guys up like relationship wise a little bit 
like being disposable and just having all of girls at your like, fingertips and you, now you're like i don't know how to have a relationship i mean when you look at like the track record of sway in a relationship or like yeah. all those guys it's like not the greatest so like <laughs> maybe yeah what's your love like life right now yo single is a fucking pringle really what, who's your last hookup it's um, not a name <laughs> He has not been fucking. Did you think that long? <laughs> no, I know. It's just like I don't think I could say it. Uh, do you like? Do you always fuck with influencer people? Like in LA, I don't know. Do you just fuck normal girls? Um, it's usually like influencer. Yeah. Girls. Just because they're hotter. No, because they're not gonna be the ones that try to like post videos after post videos and say like, hey, I fucked them. Yeah, that's true. Has that happened to you before? No. No. No, I had a vi- I had a picture of like me asleep and this girl like took a selfie. Oh, right. scary and creepy. Yeah, right. That's fucked up. Yeah, I wait till the girl sleeps now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but imagine you d- imagine you did that. Imagine you took a picture of a girl sleeping. How fucked up that would be. <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> double standard on the guy's part. Yeah, and it's like in the picture's just me like. <laughs> oh, damn. That's <laughs> That's so I'm like, damn. At least like, can you close my mouth? So basically, obviously, our podcast like canceled ended. Uh, like three months ago Mm -hmm. and like I just haven't been doing anything since and a lot of people have been like you should start your own podcast or like do this and it's like hard to start a podcast especially alone yeah and like I I didn't know where to start I don't have a manager I don't have like I don't have like any resources available like I didn't feel I was like I don't know where to start yeah thing and that was like the first chance or like the first moment where I was like okay maybe I could do this yeah, like, like an opportunity because yeah. Dave I well I had tweeted out I was like his barstool hiring kind of as a joke but yeah. like he DM me much. like m- like weeks later and was like hey like what kind of podcast are you looking to have and he didn't like offer me a podcast but he was like if you want to send me a test episode mm-hmm. you can do that and like whatever and he was like get a co-host in mind and like just send a test episode and we'll go from there yeah out of I have a lot of funny friends I have a lot of people who would be good for it but like who aren't reliable or mm-hmm. like aren't like dependable I know they won't show up every week they're out of town all the time and like you also really need for like a podcast to be successful good chemistry between the two yeah and like you could hard. be best friends with someone but still sitting down in a podcast like you'll be fighting for mic time you like we'll be trying to outshine each other there needs to be like a good balance it is and I lo- like of course I loved the dynamic with Tana so much but I know that that won't be able to happen again and like I don't and I'm not like trying to mimic it but I want to mm-hmm. have that same kind of like like where it's just so comfortable and we can talk yeah, and that's like the hard. good banter like, and shit yeah and so i had like an internal struggle about it because i'm like i like i don't want to blow this like i don't want him to think that i just don't care about mm-hmm. it and i'm not sending him an episode but also like if i pick someone random off the street and i waste his time resources money whatever yes. because i just like wanted to jump the gun like, yeah i didn't want to do that so, so did you ever send one i haven't no and i have someone and i like what's funny is i literally just like two weeks ago i found someone that i was like this person is perfect and she doesn't she's moved she's i followed her on tiktok for like a long time her and i have been like mutual friends can mm-hmm. i can i ask who yeah her name is becca okay becca. she's like i don't know if you saw that like viral tiktok where she got robbed at coachella and like becca Moore. raised all that money I know yes. Moore. yeah so we i used to work she, together yeah so she, i love her i think she'd be great for it but she's not moving here until september so that was my like oh she oh. is moving here though yeah but she's moving here oh cool. so i was like i would love to do a test episode with her but then i was like like yeah it's like almost it's just too far away yeah but also podcasting like if you already have the foundation and you just want to do it on your own and then you can find your producers and shit like it's it's very doable to do without like a big company you yeah know? no I agree and like I, I think uh, of course it's something that I'm interested in it's just like it, like it's been a, like it, the podcast just ended and like immediately I had to find like first of all other ways to make mm-hmm. money other ways to like pay rent and stuff like that so yeah. that was like my number one priority and as soon as I could finally like settle down and be like okay like I should start thinking about this I got the message and then I was like so focused on this barstool thing and now I'm like he literally said on BFFs yesterday he's like yeah she blew it <laughs> well, <he's> like, oh, <laughs> maybe we could click this and change his mind <laughs> I know, like, Dave please I promise I just don't want to waste your time yeah it was, and like, it was I think you'd respect. appreciate that yeah that's the thing I, like we said I, I just I do truly like respect him so much and he well he had sent me like a message and he was like listen just so you know, like you have to be willing to work. Like it, you can't have a successful podcast if you're not willing to put one out every single week. And he said that to me beforehand. So like, mm-hmm. well, I had someone in mind at the time, like one of my best friends and I was like, she would be so great. So entertaining. But I know, like in the back of my head, happen. I know she's not dependable. I know it's going to be like kind of a similar situation 
to like the Tana situation. And I just didn't like, I know Dave would not be okay yeah. with that. And no. so I was like, I have to find somebody else. Well, well that's part of you. Yeah. But, well, that's what's cool about Barstool. It like teaches you structure because like they sell our ads through like the company. So we have to like time management. You have to put an episode out every week. Whereas like if we were doing it on our own, it would almost, I don't know. I feel like we'd be like, fuck, we're not going to do it this week. We're not yeah. going to do it. I mean, that's how ours week. was. Like, it was yeah. very much like, we would be completely ready to film an episode and then like either me or Tana would be like, what are we going to talk about? Like, let's just do it next week. Oh, I have a question. So you're close <laughs> circle. You're close circle. Say if someone got canceled, do you stand by them? Ooh. Oh, 100%. No matter what? I mean, <laughs> not no matter what. If they're like a pedophile, it's like, hey, boys. Yeah, like, that's probably, tough. Like, can't can't, can't that's respect gotta that. That suck. Yeah. yeah find out your boy's a pedophile. That would suck. That, that would be the suck. Worst. That would. Imagine you just find out your boy's like a racist, homophobic pedophile. Oh, God. Behind that's closed doors. The whole trifecta? trifecta? Yeah, the trifecta. <laughs> That would suck. That would suck. I, I, oh, Grace, I don't know if I could stick with you if you're a racist, homophobic pedophile. Brianna, honestly, I don't know either. <laughs> nah, that I, would I would be tough. I'm loyal to... <laughs> I'm loyal forever. Oh, that's a rider, man. Yeah, right, it's crazy. Right. We're going to have to talk about it. You're going to have to, like... <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have, like, an intervention therapy. or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. at least. But It'll be something like that. Like, my friend was, like, an alcoholic. It's not like I'm going to be like, hey, fuck you. That's yeah. something worth getting rid of your friend for? <laughs> no, I'm saying I wouldn't. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't. We would have been long gone. <laughs> I was saying I wouldn't. Yeah, okay. you'd stand by. Well, yeah. well you don't get canceled for being an alcoholic. <laughs> People definitely, I mean, like, people get made fun of a lot online, oh, you know what facts. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. I get Our that. Comments, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, you guys, they're like, yeah. you guys are just well, wasting your yeah. lives away. Just doing drinking, it's not even cool. Why do people look up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Time isn't wasted when you're getting wasted. Actually, I had a funny crackhead the other day, last time I was in New York, who I was walking with my friend, and she um, has big boobs, but mm -hmm. he goes... He's smoking crack actively, mm -hmm. which I guess I you guys are pretty it. standard. It's crazy in life. Pretty normal. <laughs> he like smoked crack. Well, you <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> the guy that smoked crack on my stoop with you? Yeah, but not with me. No, no, no. But you <laughs> were chilling with him. participating in the yeah. crack. I wasn't. Peace. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. No, you can't smoke alone. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, brother. <laughs> Let me take a seat. Um, it's so he's, he hits his crack pipe. Good form. Mm -hmm. And he looks up and says, a hey, nice tits, but everything else is bad. Oh. And we were, it was like a Sunday, and we were just like, yeah, that's like, okay. <laughs> what do what you, you say? Do? To you make you have feel to better. Eat that. I was like, they're great, to, great boobs. They are great boobs. They're more than just you've the been, boobs. You've babe. been blessed. <laughs> yeah. And he agrees. Yes. It, sometimes it's kind of nice to get, I, I, I've never been cat called, mm. but, so I can't speak to it, but. Mm. One day. Oh, yeah. I have a question about Riley Hubaka. Were, yeah. you guys, were you guys ever a real thing? Are you still a real thing? We were, we were talking. Yeah, it was never like. But it was like it, it was like me just being like. Were you leading man -ho. Were Like you leading I was man -ho. Ho. Okay, because I feel like she thought it was something serious. Remember all of her like cryptic shit, in yeah. her serious posts, and then it was just like Bryce. Uh, we still talk. Sure. We're we're like still friends, but it's like we we just like flirt as a joke now. Okay. It's kind of like oh, it's it's not gonna happen. So. Oh, the people we'll kind of eat it up. Yeah. I think I think it's working. No, we we like still like each other. We're just like hey. The boy, the, the girl. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just like that subtle like awkwardness. Like, oh, we yeah. still hook up. But that's really you. fun yeah. as a girl. When a guy's like, ah, that's really fun. Yeah, that's the worst <laughs> feeling. You should try not to do that to too many people. So then I, I was like, like trying to find a way to get into the sports with that. Because I was doing bar stool stuff yeah. and I wanted to get more involved in sports. And then I was like, oh, well, I need like a host for it. Who could be my house? And I was like, well, I'm going home in like a few days for Christmas. And then I could get Avin on the show. And then we could like beta test it. And then like if it <laughs> works out. Crazy. That's literally how I was thinking, right? Like, okay, if it works out, then like maybe I can move Gavin out here. Like, let me see how much money we'd have to make. And I'm like doing all the he math. Has, like, the calculator a board and shit. I'm picturing the like, board yeah. meme. You know, like, yeah, the yeah, meme yeah. where like, the, 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 like that solving was my a brain. Murder. That was my brain. So then um, it was actually Gavin and I was trying to get my other buddy Wyatt to do it too. So then, like, I go home, and, like, I'm not telling them that I have, like, this, like, plan to bring yeah, yeah. them out here. I'm just like, yo, boys, like, I'm coming home, and I got to do, like, some work uh, for live streaming. But it's, like, going to be pretty dope. We can literally just, like, drink beer and watch sports and, like, comment about the sports. Yeah. And then we, like, get that our fans. like ideal. Yeah, get fans to go, like, place bets with us and stuff. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. When was this? This was, that would have been, like, a year ago. Okay. Like, not this Christmas, but the Christmas before mm -hmm. that. So then they uh like are doing the live streams with me and whatnot and i'm like making like pretty good money on yeah. this like 
not telling them kind of like how much I'm making or like that we're like doing this for money or anything, yeah. just like doing just it with scamming them. them. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going to take all the fucking money yeah. and use these guys. This <laughs> happened to you. You already saw it happen to you. You're yeah, do it exactly. Yeah. It's like what goes around comes around. <laughs> um, each. But then at the end of it, like I saw like, okay, this could be something that's really profitable. Like yeah. I could bring them to LA. They could live in my house. Like we could make these videos and it would like actually work out really, really well. And you'd have your boys. And I'd have my boys. Wouldn't so like, and that was the whole what point of it. It was just plan. like, I want to have like my friends. I wanted to have like my friends around that I knew were my friends. Like yeah. I needed to have people around that I knew were ride or die. Like, you wanted to trick them me. into moving to LA. Exactly. Trick them into making yeah. money as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's a right? good trick. This yeah. is the best yeah. trick this of all the, time. It's the greatest trick. It's the greatest prank ever. You are a magician. You're a fucking prankster. I try. I try. <laughs> um so then at the end of it all there was like one more day of streaming left and i go to like the bank get out like between the two of them i think i got like pretty much like whatever could like pay for like a school yeah. a, a year of school or whatever oh, for shit. them like tuition <laughs> yes so then because yes, like, easy quick bank trip <laughs> so then put it both in an envelope get them to come upstairs my whole family's like kind of like sitting around in the kitchen like oh, my mom's pretending to do like dishes oh, like, because they they're like because yeah. they knew it was happening oh, right and so they were all like sitting there like wanting to see the reaction and then like i brought them upstairs and i was just like boys like i want to say thank you for like helping me with this yeah. live stream stuff here you go and like hand both them like just like the envelope right and they both just open it and they're kind of just standing there like fucking shell shocked right yeah. like they're like what the fuck is going on so that was like the coolest feeling That's in the crazy. world like the coolest feeling in the world because those were the two guys that stuck by me all through high school yeah. too when i was getting made fun of and mm -hmm. like being like ah oh, fuck them bro just keep doing your shit like yeah. who cares right i have goosebumps but you know i just found out yesterday that my my boyfriend who i have been he just told me like very casually like oh i'm actually two years younger than i said whoa <laughs> like what How what did he say he was <laughs> He said he was, he's probably, he's going to be so mad at me for saying this, but he said he was 24. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so, because I, I don't think I would have dated someone younger than me if I knew. Me either. Because I can't do that. Been together for three months though and he's kept this? Yeah. That's crazy. And, and worse than that, <laughs> Grace, my first worse than that, Grace, he showed me his ID and it was a fake. I just, shut, I, up. Yeah, yeah. shut up. Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. Well, okay. So, okay. We could take this like, a lot of ways, like crazy or he really, really liked you and he no, wanted yeah, he, you to that, do that. I mean, he just didn't. Yeah, uh, like, honestly, that would have been like off-putting for me in the beginning. Now, of course, it doesn't matter because I know him and like, yeah. like I don't care. But maybe in the beginning, I would have been like, oh, I could never. Yeah. Well, 22 so I understand. and 25 isn't that far off. Am I at the grocery store? I'm either panic, like I'm about to have a panic attack or <laughs> like I just itself, had one. Yeah. I'm about to cry. Like I've already been here for an hour have, and a half trying to figure out what I need. I have AirPods <laughs> in. I don't know the layout of this store. I'm on Naked and Afraid. There's nothing on in the AirPods also. I just don't want anyone I do to, that too. to chat with me. All I picked up was a yam. I don't even eat yams. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that's a thing. I have a whole bit written out that I haven't figured out how to like put it together. But you'll see this. So I'll just yeah. say. I always feel like when I'm at Trader Joe's on like a Sunday or a Monday that mm -hmm. Did you guys see uh, Inception? Yes, of you course. You know when he's in his dream and everyone's like becoming conscious and trying to kill him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I feel like is happening. Like everyone's <laughs> looking at that. me and I'm like, did I? Yes. Like, is there shit all over my pants or something? <laughs> this like, is what we could just call anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It's, it's like paranoia. It's though. really it's like, bad. Yeah. They're all becoming conscious and sentient and they want to, they want me dead yes. or they want to fuck me. I cannot tell. I know. And it's, this was even before like TikTok or anything. Yeah. I always think like people are staring at me and judging me and like yeah. when I'm doing stuff, it's yeah. so debilitating. It so sucks. Awful. And then on top of the brain not working and just like being a functioning alcoholic, yeah. it's like, oh, it's crippling. Did you hate Brianna for beefing on you? Um, It wasn't, it was never hate. It was more just like, oh, this it's this you're talking shit. I'm gonna talk shit back because it's fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was more of what it was. You were never too mean. I, w I wasn't that mean, was I? Uh, you made fun of my appearance. No oh, when? No. Just kidding. <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> no, that's Dave. Dave makes fun Dave, of my appearance. Yeah, I don't make fun of appearance. Because that's that's a hard hit. Yeah. Because then like, you would damn. never want that back at you. Oh no. Yeah. So I would never go that low. But Alex Cooper made fun of your appearance. Yeah. Everyone makes fun of my appearance. Oh yeah, Lil Huddy's a vampire. Did you know this? News to me. It makes sense. It's not like shocking. We, yeah, we went no, to his sacrifice. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah, that's where we were on Did Friday. Did he sacrifice his soul something? for his new single? And Everything it's doing was really on well. fire. Oh, Everything. Yeah. yeah. Is when it was that? Stuck in your head, like it's stuck in ours. What's the song? Drama Horror? starter, a bad liar, homie hopper. Drama starter. <laughs> well, well, now it's stuck wrong. in my head. <laughs> yeah. Um, is yeah, this the got, album release? Seriously, you gonna walk out? <laughs> We're kind of in an entanglement with all those little kids by accident. Yeah, see, <laughs> they're so, like, cool though. They yeah. like don't seem like they'd be cool, but like I've they actually are. Cool. I've yeah. kind of hung out 
adjacent to them a couple of times. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you guys are cool. They're not that I'm bad. the loser in that situation. <laughs> no, <I'm> like, <laughs> don't you feel like an old like loser? I, feel old. I do feel like an old loser. Yeah. And then yeah. like we're also in all of these situations where like to them it's work. To me, I'm like, oh, I got invited to something. Yes. Sick. So you said you worked at Catch and you got fired. I did get. We fired. We also have a friend who got fired from Catch. How did you get fired? Wait, who? Who's your friend who got fired? I'm from New, New York. York. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got fired um, for lying. Honestly, like that's like the long story. That's short. why he got fired. But I got <laughs> yeah. to, to be clear. Okay, I I had worked at Catch for like almost three years, and I I got uh, that same year, the same year I got fired, I got Employee of the Year. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where? <laughs> well, what do you? Lo- was it a crazy? I lie? have the certificate. No, but it was like so. We I all- have the certificate. <laughs> I do. You I should have brought it I for credibility. Yeah. <laughs> you I should have it receipt. in your wallet. <laughs> but she. So like I, um, we had stopped. Obviously, we would closed down when COVID started, mm-hmm. and it had been like a few months, and they were reopening for like with COVID restrictions or whatever, and they only brought back like a percentage of the girls, mm-hmm. and they brought back like four of us out of like 15. Oh, shit. So I was one of the four or so that they brought back, and I, like I, I was working constantly because like they only had a certain amount of girls, and so my friend called me, and she was like, first of all, I'm the biggest Post Malone fan in the world. Mm-hmm. like literally, wait, can I? Yeah, I, can, well, I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. She was like, <laughs> I'm the biggest Post Malone fan. So she was like, do you want to go to Post Malone's birthday party? And I was nah, like. I'm straight. I was, well, <laughs> but the thing is, I was so serious about my job. Like, I'm, I have a b- big thing about, like, fucking people over yeah. and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not going to call. That, I, I will. You hear that, Dave? Yes, Dave. <laughs> no, I was, like, so afraid to call out. And this friend was like, Brooke, like, it's fine. I call out all the time. Everyone calls yeah. out all the time. Like, it's not a big deal. And I was only calling out for one shift. So I was like whatever I can make this work I called out but I made the mistake of saying I had a fever Mm. which since it was COVID time that's two weeks you it's two weeks of you cannot come back even if you don't have COVID because the restrictions were so strict so I didn't know that and I couldn't even afford to take two weeks off at the time so it was like really stupid but I I had already made the mistake there's like a viral video of Post Malone like opening his birthday presents on like (laughs) Instagram or something like that and I'm handing him oh the my present God. in oh my God. the video and it's, it's very no, cool video it's but. a great video there's no one else in the video is the thing like but i'm literally just like handing him his birthday present i had a, i had a feeling it was gonna be a story like this and <laughs> and it like i couldn't at, at that point it's like what am i going to do like, like say yeah, like you just have to be like i lied yeah, <laughs> but i wrote the two weeks out because i was i didn't i just didn't even say anything because i was like i know i have to wait two weeks whatever and so i called them after my two weeks i'm like okay so when are you gonna put me back on the schedule and they were like, what? I had one of the scariest, like, ego deaths ever. Mm. What were you thinking? Were you just like- I literally had, it, this is going to make people not want to do shrooms, but it's like <laughs> I took shrooms with one of my boys and, you know, Johnny? Yeah. Like the Johnny yeah. guy that drinks all the time. He, he's still <laughs> fucked up from this shroom trip. We were in South Carolina. Oh, okay. He just, he used to eat these chocolates mm-hmm. and we always would like microdose. Yeah. Like we'd always be like, oh yeah, let's have a chocolate bar or two. Mm-hmm. And then, uh. He didn't know what real shrooms were like, like mm. the actual physical shrooms. Yeah. So some dude gave him a bunch of shrooms and he was eating like he ate a whole cup of probably like 11 grams of shrooms. Oh my God. Four grams <laughs> with, is like good. Yeah. 11 grams with him and a random stripper. Um, <laughs> so that'll he, trip you out. <laughs> he tells me, he's like, yeah, dude, I just had a bunch of shrooms. I'm waiting for them to kick in. I'm like, wait, you took like actual shrooms? And he goes, yeah. I had like a whole cup and I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. All right. You took it with that random girl right there. All right. I'm going to have to guide you through this. Oh, and my I, God. Good I friend. took them. I took like probably eight, nine grams. <laughs> Jesus eight, Christ. Nine grams. And I had the craziest experience ever. And it uh, it made me like think about like how people view me. What's your type in a girl? Like, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? What's your type? Like, Physical. All type. What is what is your dream girl? Don't say a person. Describe a girl. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, like, girls are gonna go crazy for this shit. Usually, <laughs> I like like shorter girls. Okay. I would say like like Nessa. Like sure, that height. sure. Okay, so Nessa I mean, height. like, it doesn't have to be like four foot eleven. It okay. could be like five foot like six because okay. like I would still say that's like kind of okay. shortish. Um, I'm like five seven. <laughs> okay, it can be five seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh. Then I would say like I typically like like Latina girls and then like big butt. Okay. What about yeah. their personality, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> 
He just doesn't like when they talk. Just shut <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hole's a hole. Oh, that's awful. That is so bad. Uh.